Hello and welcome to another Nimble video tutorial. We're going to move it right along and I'm going to show you three more libraries, none of which that I had created that I was able to integrate with uh, the Nimble IDE through its web interfaces. This first library, I've never personally used it. I only I incorporated it because um, I built an interface for it because I saw it online. It, it seemed like it uh, would simplify simplify canvas drawing and uh, using the the web canvas. It's called Raphael. Um, again, I've never used it. I just thought that it would be a nice addition because it would integrate so simply um, to uh, the Nimble platform. So we're going to just bring Raphael onto this dialog and build it really quickly. I believe once the uh, once the library is initialized, it's just should this it should draw just a circle on the screen just as a as a the starting default canvas drawing. Again, all of these code snippets and default um, effects can be removed directly from the code. It's just about getting getting you a jump start, getting things initialized, and making sure that they're going to be functioning properly when when it starts. I have a break point. I'm sorry. It's, there we go. Uh, I had a break point on that, so that's the reason why I didn't draw right away. Let's refresh that and try again without the break point. Just to make sure it's gonna... There we go. That's how it should normally start up. There shouldn't have been any delay. Um, we're gonna move right along, and I'm going to show you another component that will be very useful in business, um, depending on, you know, what industry you're in and that's a PDF viewer being able to display PDF files is always really important so this is just a simple PDF viewer I have a, a, sam a sample PDF hosted on my server so the idea is this uh, component will read that sample PDF and be able to display it in in pretty much all the major browsers, I believe. Start the application, you get a nice PDF with the zoom buttons, of course. You can scroll the PDF, zoom in. And uh, everything functions as as you would expect in the Nimble platform. It's still very responsive. It still renders the PDF nicely. Slight delay on the uh, redraw, but it's a PDF, so you have to expect that data is going to take a little delay when it redraws. But Nimble still handles it quite nicely. Pretty good for businesses, depending on what industry you're in. If you display a lot of PDFs, that would really could really benefit um, and help speed up any design web design you had that would display PDFs. We're gonna remove that one, and last but not least, we're gonna show you one of my personal favorites. I've used this uh, this library. I pulled it in at a couple of my my lab, my current job this says for demos because it was so so useful um, and uh, even at a previous financial agency I, I use this for some prototype work this is called VizJS it's nothing more than a timeline control if you have anything that you need to display on the timeline you can use this control it works really well and this should integrate seamlessly into 
uh, the nibble platform. So I'm going to display the timeline on this dialog, but I'm going to make one other change to the component, and that's to dock all, all the sides of the timeline so that if I resize the dialog, the timeline will also resize. Once I refresh this, you can get a look at the VizJS timeline control hosted in the world of Nimble. So we got a nice timeline here on the screen. We can of course shrink and resize the dialogue. The timeline will also resize all the clicks and highlights work. You can of course scroll the timeline back and forth. And it's just a really nice and neat way to look at uh, ordered data or data that takes place in series and you want to compare in a in an orderly or time fashion just wanted to give you a look at three more points and three more objects and libraries of integration with the nimble platform uh, plenty more to come i've got a uh, sql js um, and of course emulated software and things that i'm um, I'm going to build. I hope you're enjoying the show. So much more to come. So much more promise and and and, and important things to create with the Nimble IDE version five. Thank you for watching.